<laughs> Whoops. I hit the wrong button there and I ended the recording. That's not good. Oh well, let's move on. Keep on sieging away. And we could put our 40 stack somewhere if we wanted to. We could go invade South America. Why don't we do that? Just for shits and giggles. Oh, he's over here blockading me. Um, yeah, get on the boat. Let's go kick at that blockade's ass. No, he's just going to run away. He's too fast. Alright, let's go invade down... Um, not there. Let's invade over here. Alright, there's his twenty. There's 27 trade ships. I'd love to freaking kill them. Can we get access with you? Probably. Yeah, let's just get access through Castile. And we'll go walk through Castile. So we don't accidentally run into that giant navy of 15 large ships, right? So just go dock in Pernambuco and we'll walk over from there. I think the home front is pretty much solidified. Austria's got them blockaded, and they're even helping us siege. I approve. Thank you, Austria. You're the best. Delicious. Good. Austria still likes us. I approve. Yeah. Looks like I don't see Portugal's navy anywhere, so they don't want to fight our navy. Good. Alright, now we do need a general over here, so let's just say, hey, random general guy. He's actually pretty good. Let's go invade uh, Portugal over here. You can heal up for a month. Actually, we'll just leave him down there. Leave him down there. Our army's under attack in Wichita. Oh no! Huh, the button is literally called, oh no! <laughs> no one cares. Still no Castile in the list. We are at 21% on the capital. Good. We have to get 84% to uh, peace out. So it's going to be a while. But the capital should give us a ticking war score, I think. Forty-two percent, very good. Okay, we arrived in no. Oh, Portugal landed some morons in Huastec with uh, with a general. Awesome. All right, let me swap out this general real quick and put you in this army and go fight Portugal. Let's see how you like my superior military tech all up in your grill. What are you going to do about it, Portugal? What are you going to do? Hmm? He's going to run. Of course he's going to run. He's like, oh shit, they they seem serious. I should put Forced March on. Just catch your dumb ass. Oh, there we go. Brazilian quest for independence. Now we're talking. Brazil gained a core on a whole bunch of shit. Nine regiments in Pernambuco. Let's send the army back to Pernambuco. Just kill the Brazilian derp-a-derps real quick. Derp a derp, derp a derp. Yeah, it, we're, it's just a slaughter. Although we are rolling ones. And rolling ones is not the way to victory. Someone probably told you rolling ones is cool. Okay, how many ones can you roll? But uh, when they're rolling eights, and their general is about the same as ours, we did win. And he's going to retreat to Mexico. Good. It's the same direction we're heading. Yep, yep, yep. No, that's all good. All right. Are we are we in Pernambuco yet? I don't think so. Can you please hurry back? Let me... Uh, I'll keep the general in the other army for now. Keep on fighting. Right? There we go. Okay, we killed that army. You can take the general out. And you can also get rid of Forced March. And just go, go back to... Um, Actually, you can just stand right there and uh, hunt rebels. So he walked up through Burgundy, I guess. I don't know where his army is. But, uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, hurry back. I'm going to give you the general. I'm going to walk a little faster with a maneuver for general. Go, go, go. We're going forced to march. Hurry up. Porto has fallen. Fantastico. Fantastico. 
Hurry up. Make the capital fall. Once the capital falls, we'll have a ticking war score in our favor. Come on. This thing's going to spawn any day now. I love how we can... This is like torture for Brazil. We are seriously torturing them. They have no cores. They have none. Until we hit this button. So if we never hit this button, they won't get cores, right? No. It'll automatically hit the button if we don't hit it ourselves. Okay, we've arrived. Turn off Forced March, spawn the Rebels, and now there's all of a sudden cores all over the place. Yep, Brazilian cores. Okay, so that's going to cause increased revolt risk. Apparently not. Uh, okay, run your ass over here and start the invasion of Portugal. Make it happen. Actually, while we're here, why don't we invade these ones? Because they're right here. <laughs> why not? You gained a core on Manhattan. Nice. Now you can stay Norwegian. I don't care. Don't care. Level 1. I think we can assault a level 1 port. Wow, we're taking a lot of losses assaulting a level 1 port. That is sad. The problem is these provinces aren't really worth anything. Like, they're literally worth less than nothing, right? Okay, Kas Kaskaskia has finished. Let's move on to uh, Arkansas. Now let's do this one. What is it called? Chippewa. Oh wow, there's a lot of people there. Should probably send two guys up there. Now let's just do Fox. <laughs> you don't have to send anyone. Fuck it. Oh 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 oh. Nine boats. Oh, there's his 15 stack, and he's sending nine guys to Porto. All right, so. He has nine transports, and, no, 11 transports and 15 large ships. All right, well, I don't really want to fight that navy. So instead, what we'll do is fight the army. We can keep uh, Austria sieging in the capital, and he's going to run to Porto. That'll work for me. Come on. Group up, drop a siege, go to Borganka. And what we're going to do is swap the general into there. As soon as he's done over here, come on. Sit it down. There we go. Get the general out. And start your long ass march over here, okay? Now in the meantime, you're going to put the general into this army once we get to Proganka, whatever it's called. General, please kick some ass. See, he doesn't have many soldiers. He has a ton of boats, not many soldiers. Oh, we're rolling zeros. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he's just getting destroyed. Done. Lol. Seventy percent. Well, it better fall. It better freaking fall at seventy percent. Come on. Ow! Neck popping. Wow, that was that was loud. <laughs> Castile, you in the list yet? Nope, still no Castile in the list. Damn it! I guess we're just gonna have to fabricate claims and go the old-fashioned route. I didn't want to do that though. Oh, what a joke! No, I'm not gonna do it. I refuse. I want to claim their province. And why does Austria is our personal union bitch? But somehow, when he took a province over here, he gets his own Austrian crisscross. That doesn't make sense. But, whatever. We still get the bonus for it. It's just a little awkward. But that is going to give us a ticking war score all the way up to, I think, another 25 points. Um, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, bum. But yeah, we have to get to 84 if we want to do this, right? So length of war has to go in our favor, and military strength needs to go in our favor. All right, fine. Frankfurt, do you want out of the war? Oh, God, Austria is just invading the shit out of Frankfurt. He doesn't want peace, though. Well, Austria will fuck him up. We'll fuck you up. Wow, 84% it hasn't fallen. Are you kidding me? I've never seen 84%. Come on. There we go. 
What a joke. Can't fight those rebels. Really disappointing, but whatever. And I don't think... I don't think these count towards our war goal, do they? I mean, our war score. They do not. Well, that, that really sucks. These rebels, which I did not sponsor, are apparently preventing us from getting war score over here. And that really pisses me off. We can't attack the fort or anything. We can't do shit here. Ah, oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Well, let's go to um, Gibraltar. Because we can do that one, right? Level 2 fort, that's fine. Alright, how are things... Oh, let's get the general out. Because we don't need it. Put him down here. Where you at, bro? There you at, bro! Here I am, bro! And we landed in Gibraltar. I think we're just going to hit the button. Because the level 2 should be easy. There we go. And just go chill in Shandaya. Whatever. No, go to Candies. That's 37%, and we're not really going to get much more than that, unfortunately, because of those damn rebels in Alentejo. So out of seven European provinces, Portugal only has seven... I'll put the speed all the way up. Portugal only has seven European provinces. Out of those seven, we can only get four, because rebels got to the other three first. How dumb is that? And the rebels are sponsored by me, apparently, so that means we can't fight them and we can't re-siege anything that they took. So dumb. Okay, we have arrived in Puno. Hello, Portuguese army. Let me destroy you. You are dead. So that's going to be some free war score for us. If we can find any Portuguese armies anywhere, that's going to give us some free war score. Each one of those is worth a little bit, right? That was worth... Is that even the list? Is that Hwastek? No, that's our Equipa. That was worth almost 1% war score. Almost. Not quite. I think what we'll do is we'll just split in half. And we'll send... We'll just go, like, little stacks all over the place. Little stacks of 10. Should be good. guys and then we just come back. There we go. Siege all the things. How are we only at 39? Oh well, it should get better. Ah, a lot of our ships are finishing. Good. How are we on ships? We are still under the limit. Good. So let's take all of those new ships. And let's send you all to... I love Lucia. It's only 16 ships. I thought we built more than that, but I guess not. Can no longer improve relations with our vassal. Damn it. Oh, still nothing with Castile, eh? Nope. Damn it. We get relations up. Yeah, a little bit. And Portugal, or Poland, no, I'm pretty much maxed. Austria, pretty much maxed. So there's no one we can really, you know, impress. Why don't we work on Bremen a little bit? Just get people to like us, you know? We're not a bad guy, we're just misunderstood. Well, manga has fallen, very good. Siege all the things. I mean, these aren't really worth much, right? Huamanga is worth 0, 0.0 or 0 0.2. Pretty much nothing. Freaking 20 rebels just spawned on my head. Well, at least we won, right? We discovered a province. We're good. On and siege. I mean, they're not worth much, but every five is worth one percent, so we gotta do them. It's 
not like they take a long time. They're all like level 1 forts, I think. Okay, let's group you guys up. 16 large ships. That's nice. They're not the best ships ever. I'm sure the ships we're building are worse than the ones that the Portuguese are building. They're at tech 26. We're at tech 21. Uh, and yeah, next level we get more ships. Or better ships. So I probably shouldn't have built them at all. In fact... Yeah, that was kind of dumb. Well, there's a waste of money. Yay, wasting money on Shamblitz. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Colony damage in Fox. Um, does that mean the colony's gone? It does. Oh, you little bastards. I could send two morons up there. Oh, I really don't want to... Fine, we'll send two morons up there. Oh, it was this one. Doop, 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 doop. There we go. Bound to dispute on whom? Huron, that's fine. I don't really care. We will accept boundary disputes. Yeah, it sucks that the rebels got these provinces because we can't do anything with them. We can't siege them back. Unless he settles with the rebels. If he settles with the rebels, then we can siege him. Fifty percent. All right, we have to get up to about seventy-five for him to take peace. Our naval reformer died. No, not our naval reformer. No. Oh, statesman. No, I don't really want a statesman, but we'll get a statesman anyway. When have I ever not wanted a statesman? What kind of bullshit logic is that? I don't want better relations with every single person on the map. No. Siege all the things. Ooh, free admin points. Nice. And we can tech up our admin tech. Nice. Lovely. We can now do another idea group. Oh. I think we're going to go for military because nothing else really makes any difference. Uh, we don't have enough dipole points to do any of that shit, although I would like to. And we don't really have enough admin points to do any of this shit either, although I would like to. We could do some espionage or religious or administrative. I mean, religious would probably be good to convert Paris. Mm, but we don't have to. Oh, I think we're just a new aristocratic. Well, quantity would be cheaper armies. Hmm. I don't really need more armies, but cheaper armies is nice. Ships cost little. Ships cost less. Cannons cost less. Manpower goes up. Eh. Oh, stupid, stupid crap. Fine, just do religious. What a joke. <laughs> That's so dumb. If we were going to do religious, we should have done it a long time ago when we flipped to uh, Protestant, right? Otherwise, what's the damn point? Oh no, rebels. Oh no, rebels. Moria and Croatia are at war again. Nobody cares. Can you please hurry up with this 49% <laughs> bullshit? Just finish. Please? Thank you. Now kill them, and then kill them, and then go there. Okay? God. <laughs> But we do need to end this episode here, so thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. Come back next time, where we will kill this little 1,000-man army from Portugal. See you then. Have a good day.